So today's the day, finally, I've got round to doing it, or should I say tonight's the night that hopefully I'll be capturing an image to enter into the Pentax YouTubers After Dark photo battle. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll link the video, the call out video from Jeff Moore in the description below. And Jeff was the winner of last, the last um, photo battle, which was the autumn themed photo battle. Um, and yeah, so Jeff's called us out for this after dark challenge and we're in May, coming towards the end of May, you know, it's coming towards the, the longer days of the year. So this is a challenge in itself. Um, you know, I must admit, this is not my usual type of, uh, type of photography, but it gets you outside your comfort zone, doing something that you wouldn't normally do, which is, um, is always a good thing, I think. So I've got something up my sleeve here which hopefully is gonna work, but I'm not sure. I might have missed the subject, but you're, you're gonna find out about that in a minute. For this challenge, I'll be using my Pentax K5, along with the DA 17 to 70 millimeter F4 lens. And there's no particular reason really why I'm using this setup, apart from the fact that I really like it. I just love the images that this camera produces, the K5, the sensor in it. It's got a good reputation, the 16 megapixel sensor, as I'm sure many of you will agree with. And combined with the DA17-70, which is a overlooked lens in my opinion, I thought this would be a, a nice, nice setup for the, the, um, the subject matter that I've got in mind. But we're gonna see. And just before I go any further, I'd be interested to know if you also have a, a camera that just does something special for you when you click the shutter button. It doesn't have to be the latest or greatest. It doesn't have to be like a 50 megapixel, 100 megapixel medium format camera. For me, mine personally, is the Pentax K5. I just love the images that this camera produces. Let us know in the comments what your, your super special little camera is, if that's even a, a thing. Well, it is now. Comment below. So what am I attempting? Well, I'm going to attempt to do some light painting. And this was one of the first techniques that I came across when I first got into photography. It was one of the first techniques that I, I learned. I say I learned, we're gonna find out how well I learned it in a minute. <laughs> but yes, it was one of those techniques that um, it really got me it wanted me to like stick your teeth in, get stuck into the photography because it showed me something that was outside of the normal realm of what I thought was possible, if you know what I mean. And uh, light painting in itself is a bit of an art form, I think. I've seen some awesome work online and we'll see if I can get an image here today. I'm not so sure. Hopefully it's a little bit darker in the forest because that's what I'm planning on doing, going inside the forest to find the subject. Have you guessed it yet? It's spring, the end of spring, almost. Yes, I'm gonna try and get some bluebells. That's what I'm gonna try and do. So my, my idea is to use, I've got an app on my phone and I'll link all this down below if it's relevant because it's just an Android phone. It's a light app. It just basically lights up your screen. You can turn it different colors, but I'm gonna use my phone as the, the light source to paint the bluebells. And hopefully, I might have to wait around a little bit for it to get a little bit darker. We can get some sort of arty type of image, which is not the normal for a bluebell shot, I suppose. You don't usually go out with your, your camera at night to shoot bluebells, but there you go. That's what I'm attempting anyway. So, without any further ado, I've got a little bit of a walk ahead of me. I'll not waste your time. I'm not even gonna do a time lapse. We're just gonna teleport there so you'll next see is where the bluebells are hopefully if there's any left 